Pete Mena, Dustin Carlson, and Pete Brzezinski are making all the right moves by keying in on newer weed growth in flat areas and also contour style structure spots. It's fish just spine going across here, that early weed growth. Sounds good. All right. But even though breaking down water methodically and patterning lures by everyone trying something a little different along the way are big advantages. We do this because it feels good. Punish. Sometimes you just have to stick it out and trust in your approach. Time to wake them up. Waking up the sleeping giants. Of course, when it comes to Pete and chasing Esox in general, there is nary an option that at some point isn't weighed. So, what are you guys thinking tactic-wise here? Dynamite now? Dynamite wouldn't be a bad call. I think we should get the howitzer out. <laughs> <laughs> howitzers, howitzers might be good. <laughs> While it's dry for a minute, I wanted to talk a little bit about just the realities of musky fishing, you know. You watch a TV show and you see guys catching fish all the time and you might think, hey, these guys are good, they do this for a living, they're always catching fish, but especially with musky fish in a low density critter like this, the bottom line is sometimes these fish are just off due to weather conditions. It might be a cold front, it might be abnormal heat, it might be water color. And the thing is, is just to get that idea in your head that sometimes you just gotta stick with it, be hard headed. If you're in an area where you know the fish, are you just got to keep casting and pound it out start early fish late we're all working together here we're trying different lures that's what you got to do to hopefully come to a pattern but also when the fish is just plain tough you got to keep working hard and keep paying attention because the reality is sometimes you're working all day for just one bite and you want to be ready and be on top of it not giving up the only way to really catch a muskie. And during a stubborn bite, nabbing a few other critters along the way is always appreciated. A little more than usual. What do they do with these? <laughs> but as if a sign directly from the muskie gods themselves, just as a little sunshine breaks up the monotony of the previous day's endless cloud ceiling. Oh, here she comes, man. I'm yours, Dustin. There she is. Nice one. Dustin gets a glimpse of a follow. Oh, she'll eat it. And after such a long break in the action, he isn't stopping his figure eight until he triggers this fish. Well, I can't see her at all. Or wears his rod down to the reel trying. So it circled around and wanted to eat it. Yep, did it look like. Oh, I'd want it to. Oh, yeah. Got her. Got him. All right. Oh, I got the next. All right. Woo-hoo. <laughs> right that away. <laughs> She's going down over the deep pool. <laughs> well, hang on, we're almost on shore behind us here. If you feel a jolt. You ready? She's barely hooked, Pete. Uh, she's still on, dude. <laughs> you got her. Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, that was cool. She went about five times around on the figure eight. You know what, you never give up on the figure eight. Well, and you know, she took that swipe first. I mean, for, for right. that reason, you knew she was active, and right. then you kept going. About four more times around, she hit it. <laughs> nice oh, yeah, fish. That's a nice fish, though. Beautiful. Mm, beautiful yeah. fish, yeah. <laughs> that was exciting. Heck yeah, I can't beat a figure eight strike like that. Yeah. That's definitely uh, Wisconsin, huh? Yep. Yeah. Wisconsin's yeah. train. Oh, yeah. That was so exciting. She's <laughs> <laughs> waving at us. Waving at us. All right, man, we'll get her back. All right. Sounds good. Goes. Waving goodbye, boys. Yep. The Real Deal. Real fishing information from real fishing experts. Presented by Amsoil. The Mustad Double Wide Hook was initially designed for two hook crawler harnesses, and it's great for that. But I tell you what, it's also become our go-to hook for all of our live bait techniques. So let's look at what makes this so good for a two hook crawler harness. The key attributes of a double wide are of course that it's very wide hook. This allows this hook to hook up the fish better. They basically touch it, you got them. But it also has a fairly short shank on it, 
And what that short shank does is first of all, reduce the weight of the overall hook, making the, the crawler actually move better, but it also gives you a camming action. When that fish bites this hook, it cams into the roof of his mouth. So again, double wides and spinners just absolutely go together. Let's look at some of the other rigs though that I would use this hook for. With leeches, especially say on a slip sinker type rig, the key to a leech being effective is that it's allowed to swim underwater. It's got to be able to move. So you have to use a very lightweight hook and a small hook. I use a number eight double wide for this, but again, because even though it's a little hook, because it's got that nice wide gap in it, you still got a great chance of contacting that fish's mouth when he sucks it in. So it allows him to swim, but it actually hooks the fish up after he bites. The other place that we use these hooks a lot are for our minnows. The key thing I look at on minnows is you want to look at the hook based on the size of minnow that you're using. For example, with this small little fathead here, I might only use about a number two, maybe even just a number four hook, but again, nice wide gap. What that does is it allows this hook to be wider than the head of the minnow. And so therefore, when that fish bites it, Again, just a great chance of hooking up with that fish. The trickier part is when you get to a little bit bigger minnows, because here you really need that wide gap of the double wide to ensure that you're gonna be able to hook up this minnow. You can see this number one double wide here is plenty wide. It's a lot bigger than that number two, but plenty wide even on this big minnow here, that when that fish engulfs this bait, you're gonna get it in his mouth. The other great thing about these uh, double wides is that they come with the ultra point technology, which means they're not only sharp out of the box, but even if you're banging them down on the bottom in rocks and sand, they're gonna stay extremely sharp. So the double wide, great spinner hook, but I tell you what, for any live bait for walleyes, it should be your hook of choice.